morning everyone um, today I am cooking on the pro cube and I know it's a flaming coals group but I just wanted to give you an idea of how you can also run the um, temp master pro as well so as you can see I've just um, put some beef ribs in there of course rubbed with the flaming coals bovine espresso but because I'm gonna be probably cooking these for about eight hours I just want to show you how I've rigged up um, the flaming coals temp master pro um, to the Pro Q. So I know some of you guys are already running um, one of these on your offset smokers, but I know also some of you also have Pro Qs as well as Webbers. So the way you attach it is you would attach the exact same adapter that you would already have for your offset smoker. All right, so you basically just undo one of the vents, screw that in, um, and then what you can do is with the fan controller, you can see how it's got the thread there. Uh, all you need to do Hopefully I can do this one handed and line the thread up, but just screw that in, all right? So you just screw that in, like so. Right, then this is the actual control unit that controls the, the fan setting. So on the side here, you can see there's two probes. So one is for the fan, which connects to the actual fan controller here. The other one is the probe. And the probe, what that does, is you actually stick that into your smoker. So in an offset, you'd stick it through the probe hole. In a Pro-Q, I've just um, secured it in one of the top vents and then closed the vent to be able to hold it tight there. So once you've got both of those plugged in, what you need to do is turn it on. And there's also a little magnet on the back here too. So I just generally, um, attach mine to the side there or have it sitting on the ground, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Now, I've converted to Fahrenheit, so you can change it to Celsius if you want. But what you can do is set the temperature that you want your pit at. So today, I'm cooking beef ribs and hopefully I get these for dinner. Um, I'm wanting the pit to run at about um, 275. So I've programmed it at 275. And what this um, white probe is doing that I've got plugged into the, into the top here, that's kind of like my temperature reader. So what that's doing is that's telling me that at the moment, um, the temperature inside my Pro-Q is currently sitting at 212 Fahrenheit. And what that means is that this fan unit here is gonna keep on pumping air into the Pro-Q until the temperature reads 275 Fahrenheit. Then when it gets to about 270, what will happen is the amount of air being pumped in will slow down so it doesn't overshoot it. Once it gets to 275, the fan will shut off. And then as the temperature starts to dwindle, it'll kick start back off again. Now, having a look inside where the, the fire's going, um, today I'm using the Flaming Coals Hot Rods because I know I can get about four hours of burn time in them before I need to top them up. So I would suggest using um, yeah, some sort of briquette. We like the Flaming Coals Hot Rods, but if you don't want to keep on topping up, um, I'd definitely be using a briquette um, for those longer cooks. Unless you're in an offset, then you can use your charcoal basket, which condense it, etc. So, all going well. Um, this is going to get to 275. It's going to sit here probably for about four hours until I have to come and top up those Flaming Coals Hot Rods. So, you may recall, I did before set it at 275 and uh, the current pit temperature is 263. So it has dropped off a little bit um, and that's probably because I need to add more um, charcoal in because you know it's probably been in there for close to four and a half hours and I haven't added any more charcoal. So um, I'll do that shortly, but we'll just check in to see how they're all going. All right, so these beef ribs have been in there for probably about four and a half hours or so. The Tempmaster Pro has um, just been chugging along there, so um, yeah, it's, I've just been getting along with work all day, so that's a pretty good unit there. Um, I'm just going to open this up and we'll throw some more Hot Rods charcoal in. Chuck that charcoal in. I've actually um, broken these up into half sizes, um, just the full sizes are too long, so if I break them up, um, I'll get a better heat as well. So they're in there. I don't. I might add a few more in, and then I don't reckon I'm going to have to touch this for the rest of the cook. Um, as you can see, 
The temperature has dropped down a bit now because I've obviously opened the door. So now I've put more charcoal in there. The fan's really gonna kick in um, and then get that back up to 275. 